in the diagram a b c d are points on a cycle center o so a b c d these are points on the circumference of the cycle and that cycle has center o if the length of the side ab or line ab it is length is equals to the length of the line bc line ac line ab line ab it is length is equals to the length of the line bc as it is marked look at the two marks here this tells us that the length here and the length here are equal and the angle ADC is 50 degrees, angle ADC, this angle is also marked in the drain, is 50 degrees. Then the question asks is to find the size of the angle BAD. BAD. This angle is what the question is interested. We are to find, we are to find the size of this angle. So let me attempt to answer this question. Solution to this like this always there are many ways of tackling or answering this type of questions just think of any other theorem that will be appropriately used to find finally whatever you ask to find there is no definite way of tackling this all you need think of any other theorem that you are going to employ so that you find one or two or three angles so that in the end you find the one asked to find if the theorem is valid go ahead and use it so let me first get angle abc angle abc this very angle or this very angle abc this very angle we look at this quadrilateral look at this quadrilateral look at this quadrilateral is a cyclic quadrilateral because all the vertices are on the circumference of the cycle so it's a cyclic quadrilateral and I have this angle 50 degrees which is opposite to the angle at B so I can find this because a theorem says opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary meaning add to get 180 so there I will now use that theorem to find angle ABC so I will simply subtract 50 the opposite angle to the angle B from 180 the remaining will now be this angle so subtracting 180 minus 50 the reason is opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral will give me that angle at b so b angle at b will now be 130 degrees so this angle is now 130 so next i'll check which angle can i find again remember the question asks is to find the size of this angle the size of this angle that is bad this is what we are interested finally so let me see which one can i find i cannot find this talk less of this so now what i think is drawing another extra line which is not a part of the drawing let me add a line so we call it construction so let me draw a line from a to c from a to c let me add that line look at it I have added extra line it's not part of the original drawing given I have added it so that I can move so addition of this line will now give me a way to move further so let me get angle ACD ACD this very angle this very angle I can find it I can find it remember who is the center so ED will now be diameter so this part will now be a semicycle it's a semi-cycle it's a semi-cycle this part because this is diameter so i can now find the angle acd this very angle and this very angle will simply be 90 degrees remember it says angle in a semi-cycle equals to 90 degrees so angle subtended by a diameter are the remaining part it will be 90 so angle acd is 90. so let me check which one can i find the next where can I find it next? Finally, I'm interested in the whole of this. So if I can get this now, possibly I'll get this also. Yes, I can get this using this and this. I can also get this because this triangle ABC is a, a SLS triangle. Two of its sides are equal. Two of the sides are equal. I can get this because this angle will be equal to this one. Base angle of SLS. So let me move. So angle CAD. C A D C 
E D which means this very angle this very angle that very angle will simply be 180 minus 90 minus 50 some of these two other angles plus this will give 180 some of angle in a triangle so I have subtracted the 290 and 50 from 180 to leave me with this angle this very angle so subtracting 90 and 50 from 180 will give us a 40 degrees so this angle will be 40 if I have 40 what remains is to get this then I'll simply add the 2 to get the angle BED this also angle I can find it like I have said this is an isosceles triangle so this very angle and this are equal so addition of the 2 plus this will give 180 so therefore angle BAC is simply equals to 180 minus 130 this very angle then the answer divided by 2 will give you this and this so 180 minus 130 divided by 2 will leave me with the angle BAC and reason is sum of angle in isosceles, isosceles because the best angles are equal that's why the division of 2 come so subtracting and dividing by 2 give answer 25 so this angle BAC will now be 25 degrees so which means my work is finished almost is to just to get angle BAD now by adding 25 and 40 so angle BED the one asked to find in the question will now be equals to 40 this angle plus 25 this angle BED this very angle will be 40 plus 25 and addition correctly gives us 65 degrees therefore angle BED is now 65 so with this the question has been answered let's see the mark distribution for this very question according to the white marking scheme the mark distribution is as follows and the first mark is the method mark where you are trying to get the angle ABC subtracting 50 from 180 using this theorem opposite angles of exactly quadrilateral and uh, getting the answer accurately as 130 you have the A1 the next mark is the A1 for getting 90 as angle ACD. The next mark is the method mark where you are attempting to get uh, the angle CAD uh, by subtracting these two other angles from 180. And when you have 40 accurately, you have the A1 mark. The next is attempting to get uh, the other angle BAC using some of angle in isosceles triangle you have the method mark and the last mark is where you have the final final answer as your size of angle BED 65 if you have it exactly you have this final mark E1 mark so in total there are seven marks to this very question according to the white marking scheme